सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू वाइट यूट्यूब चैनल वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वर्किंग गुड सो दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले लिस्ट टू लर्न माइक्रो कंट्रोलर कोडिंग ऑन द आर्म प्रोसेसर बेस्ड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इज ऑफ एन एक्सपी सेमी कनेक्टर्स एस थर्टी टू के वन फोर फोर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर विच इज ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव ग्रेड एंड इट हैज आर्म कॉन्टेक्स एम फोर इन साइड इट this microcontroller now for doing microcontroller coding on this microcontroller one of the first thing that we would be needing is an ide integrated development environment and nxp semiconductors provide its own ide by the name of s32 design studio for doing software and programming development on this microcontroller so in this video we are going to learn about nxp s32 design studio ide understanding what is it understanding the features in it and how to use it by doing its software installation by understanding how to make project on it by understanding the code configuration and generation tools which are in it and then uh, uh, compiling and seeing how to debug the code on it so now without wasting time let's get started now to do the hands on learning and do practical things with this microcontroller we are going to use electronics version 2 development board and the jlin v9 debugger throughout this series both of these board and the debugger are available to you and you can buy from the electronics infra website whose link i would be giving in the below description link of the video and to know more about this microcontroller s32k144 mcu and the electronics version 2 development board viewers can refer to this blog on the get to bike website and this video in which i have told reasons for selecting these microcontrollers and board and the benefits one can get on learning microcontroller coding on this arm based microcontroller now i will be starting with the studio design studio so i have also written an article on get to bike website by the name of get, getting started with studio design studio and in which i have told about what is studio ds explaining its various features how to use it explaining its different components like of programming debugging code configuration tools and understanding the code so what are the features does id provides so viewers who are much more into the reading articles and those things so they can refer to this blog it's in a basically complete walk through of this video so now let's just move forward and first of all understand what is studio design studio so studio design studio is a development platform for programming for for doing c c++ programming language and programming our nxp studio to microcontrollers and microprocessors so kind of like a we can do c c++ programming on this i this software application and those programs would only be running and concentric for studio to microcontrollers and microprocessors one of the family of this studio to k is a of this studio to platform is the studio to k out of for which our microcontroller studio to k144 belongs so, now studio to design studio comes in three variants studio design studio for studio platform in which it supports majority of studio microcontrollers and microprocessors like you can see over here and this is what we are going to use and download throughout the tutorial series and for our development on k144 microcontroller apart from this it, it it also comes in two other variants studio ds for power architecture it is for those microcontrollers which are based on power architecture based processors like s32 r mpc57 and mpc56 series of microcontrollers and another is the s32 ds for arm in which it covers basically other as microcontrollers of s32 like kia and msc575 but we will be mainly using we will be only focusing on s32 ds for s32 platform as it has many other features like of code configuration features support of multiple compilers and support of free rtos and sdk and rtd files for the respective microcontrollers you are using so guys now we'll be starting with the studio design studio installation process so before logging down installation you just need to register at the nxp website with your personal mail id 
so you just need to make an account if you don't have it or if you if you have it so just log in with your email id and the password and after the logging in you will be able to see that you can see over here your <coughs> name and the my account page or uh, beside this okay so now you just go to the strd2 ds for strd2 platform that's what id we are going to use it okay and then navigate to the downloads page downloads and there are many versions of strd2 design studio id you can see okay one which we are going to use is the strd2 design studio 3.4 version so just scroll down and look out for it and 3.4 windows slash linux and if you have logged in to add the NXP website, so it will the window which will like come up that is to show you up. If you are not, then it will be first asking you to log in and then you will be able to see this page. So design studio ID is what we are going to choose. And uh, then it will ask for 3.5 or 3.4 version. For our K1 microcontrollers, we will be using the 3.4 version. So click on it. Now in this, you will be see there are many uh, packages. We will be downloading the first package, Studio to Design Studio 3.4 Windows installer, installer exe file, and the Studio to Design Studio 3.4 development package for offline use. This is for our development package that would be integrating all the uh, SDK files, RDD files, and the development for a corresponding microcontroller of Studio to do it. Okay. So that's this. These are the two one exe and one zip file you need to download. And after that, you just need to wait. Okay, I have already downloaded both of these two, so I will just rush uh, the process on the video. Okay. Now, so after your exe will be installed, you just double click on it. Okay, and you will be able to see that exe file on the downloads page. Okay. And then uh, your normal software installation process would be following up in which you just click on the next and follow the instructions for downloading the DSID. And, and when during the installation process, it would be asking you for the license key. Okay. And then it will be asking you just you navigate to your mail ID at which you have from which you have logged in into the NXP website. And over there you will be seeing your mail ID like this. Okay. And you just copy the activation code which is written over here on the pop-up during the installation process when it will be asking for the license key and choose the offline uh, activation mode after that okay and uh, i have already in installed the exe file okay so i will not be repeating the process and i am just going to like you do just follow those steps and if any issues comes up you can just mention them in the below comment section so guys, now once you have downloaded the Design Studio ID, you will be seeing the Design Studio ID shortcut on your desktop like this. So just double click on it and a window will pop up asking you for the workspace directory to choose. So the it might take some time depending upon your laptop and the size uh, processor. So I work select the by default we will be continuing with the workspace that is being chosen by default. Click on the launch. Now it might take some time for opening your design studio ID window. Okay. Meanwhile, it opens. Let me just navigate you to the directory at which our design studio ID is being downloaded. So our design studio would be downloaded under the NXP folder that is automatically created as you install the ID in the C drive of your PC. Okay. So you can see C drive and under it the NXP will be able to look at the design studio 3.4. And in the design studio 3.4, you can see there is a folders and the answer inside the Eclipse folder, we would be having a design studio application file for launching the design studio and under the design studio DS folder and in it under the software, we'll be install heavy. We will be seeing all the development packages, SDK files and RDD files that we will be uh, down and we'll be installing. This might be empty in your case initially because you have not downloaded any development package as of now, but I have already downloaded it. So that's why you are seeing these development packages. Okay. So your design studio will open up first time. So this window will be showing you, okay. Progress information, operation in progress. Just cancel out this one and you will be seeing the getting started page. Okay. In which there are some quick links, tutorials for getting started with this ID. 
and it is very in modular form in which there are many windows features and uh, things so we'll be coming on all those things one by one but right now we are just focusing on the software installation and development package installation I do design studio extensions and update this is the place from here we can get to know about all the development packages and the, that are available for our uh, the, with, with the design studio id plugins and the features in the sdk files so it might take some time to load at first uh, at first time when you're opening the design studio id okay so your design studio extensions and update window has uh, loaded so here you can see three sections all available slash update and the installed one okay so we'll be you over the like as their name says you can very well understood what their means and what we can find over here so we'll be directly going to the installed and you will be seeing that at first time only these packages would be downloaded lower of these two would not be there in your pc as you are not installed as if now i have already downloaded it so they are showing but i am showing you this for your verification for making you see that how we will get to know okay so now how we it, these will be show available to you is now go on to the cancel go on to the help install new software and then click on the add click on archive and then select the zip file that you have downloaded just now the development package environment okay this development package zip file so this is my this one click on open and when you will click on open it and it click on add so uh, just you will be able to see here all the development packages that are available in this zip file so as we are doing for k1 microcontroller right now so you'll be just selecting those ones and then it in your laptop it will be showing you the next window and next and this follow the instruction process in my case it is not showing because i have already downloaded it but just to show you for the demonstration purpose let's say i am doing it for the study to s2 microcontroller so click on next and then it will be loading so after the loading it will be asking showing you all the items that would be downloaded in the case of k1 it will be showing you all the k1 okay and then click on next accept and then click on finish okay and once it you click on finish so it will be installing software you will be able to see and navigate it over here and after the whole installation process you will be it will be asking you to restart your design studio id a window will pop up automatically but this might take you around 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your pc speed and the internet speed okay so yeah once you have restarted like i'm assuming that you have installed the software successfully and you have restarted the design studio id and then it will be uh, then uh, like our design studio id and all things are up and ready to use now how to check whether an id has been installed or not as i have said go to the design studio extensions and updates it will window will pop up go on to the install section and you will be seeing the these two sections in the end of your installed window k1 development package the k1 sdk files now also to check by another way go to the file go to the new and ds project from example in this here it's just like an arduino environment where you can see in the arduino like we can see all the blink sketches fade examples and those things so clicking on this file and ds the project from example the development package that you have downloaded all of its demo examples will show you on this video as it will pop up now so, yeah so you can see over here all the sdk files all the all you can see like these ones you will be able to see like this and it means the, the main is this one s32 sdk k11 sdk rtm 4.0.1 example projects demo examples you will be able to see all the development uh, demo examples of the corresponding microcontroller with the peripheral drivers in demo examples and this means that your development package is done so if you have come up to this stage and you are seeing like this so it means all of your installation progress or id installation and development package is being installed and up and ready so now in the next video we are going to show how to make a project on design studio id and how to use the code configuration tool of the design studio id so till then we guys stay safe stay happy if any doubts or any issues kindly uh, comment them on the below uh, comment section
So that's it for now guys. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded. Oh, 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 o